Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep. I don't know what number it is. And please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And if you're watching on YouTube, again, only listen or watch when you can safely close your eyes and please subscribe. Mind you, I've had a few problems uploading some of these longer videos to YouTube, so I don't know why that is. But I couldn't be bothered to try and figure it out, spend a bit of time on it. And I think three of the longer videos, the Let Me Bore You to Sleep ones, have not processed. They've not finished processing. So I keep to do, I keep doing it with the hope that it will sort itself out. So yeah, I don't know quite what's going on. I don't know. And the the size of the file is too big to shorten. If that makes sense, it's it's too large. The file is like six gigabytes, or sometimes more, four, five, six gigabytes, seven. So the um, there's a lot of free conversion websites where you can upload the video and uh, you know convert it to half the size or something like that but unfortunately they don't allow you to upload something as large as this so I'm in a situation where I kind of don't care really oh just drop the phone it's it's mildly irritating especially after you know making the video and rendering it which takes a couple of hours and then going through the process of uploading it again another couple of hours sometimes only to have nothing occur which is weird though because the link allows you to go to the link and watch it I don't understand I don't understand I really don't however the podcast are fine you know the, the they're absolutely fine as normal it's uploaded and that's the main place that they listen to anyway but uh, as the YouTube channel grows I would like all of my videos all the new stuff to be on there just kind of makes sense really but all the shorter stuff's fine anything you know, half an hour long or anything like that, it's fine. Um, I did a relax with slime video yesterday or last night or this morning. And I think it lasted 50 minutes. And that uploaded fine as well. And that was a big file, you know, because that was moving uh, me playing with slime for I think it was 50 it might have been 40 minutes but I think it was 50 it might have been 47 and um, that slime is some weird stuff I've got this big bucket of it and as well as looking weird it sounds weird and it feels weird so I'm probably going to do more of those recordings even though they might not be to everybody's taste as far as listening to them uh, the videos possibly will be uh, more popular because, because of the visual side of it if that makes sense but there's, there's still work to be done there's, there's stuff to be done on this to figure out what it is I'm going to do I did a deep sleep whisper 
session this morning and so that was I think that was number 63 and so I uploaded that I've not made a video of it yet but I will I'll make a video later I went out today had an appointment I was seeing a therapist and she's doing I forget the name of it it's 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 a cognitive behaviour therapy but a, a different strand aimed kind of it wasn't invented for me but it was a different it's a certain type that's uh, perhaps useful for me and we were talking and I was telling her some stuff and she was making uh, like a drawing I'm glad she was doing a drawing because I don't it wasn't a drawing but it was like a like a map and we didn't have enough time to discuss her thoughts on the map because I was waffling on a bit but there's a lot of repetition there and I seem to have a tendency of coming back to the same stuff and there seems to be this issue of uh, not wanting to have any money for some reason which is kind of silly really so it's uh, kind of keeping myself in the poverty trap by my own actions so yeah there's there's a few things there I won't go into it here because this is probably not the right place but so I went there which meant I had to get up early in the morning because she sent me an email I think yesterday or that might have been Monday because I'd imagine Monday would make more sense because it's more notice and she said can we meet an hour early please because uh, I don't know she had to she wanted to go to McDonald's or something and I said yeah no problem yeah I'll come in an hour earlier yeah I'd love to go get in at 11 yeah lovely not God, I've wanted to say that for ages I haven't said that remember years ago it used to be the standard rebuke or the rebuckle or put down and someone says something you said yeah I'd love to do that not very ch very childish it's uh so yeah I I needed to get up early and I was doing my yeah I did yesterday what did I do yesterday I went out Monday Tuesday and today and briefly I didn't yesterday I got completely soaked through because of the weather the wind the rain okay the rain is responsible for the soak but the wind just I kind of felt like it was so windy it should have dried me off I really did it's like why am I not dry it's like 90 miles an hour winds I'm quite lucky because I'm overweight 
it's not good the rest of the year. So coming up, it's now March, so we're moving into you know summertime, spring, summer, when people walk around in t-shirts, and I can't really do that um, comfortably. But I can't walk around in a scarf either because it's summer. I can't make out when I'm I'm just a 1970s Doctor Who. That doesn't cut it, you know. So it's a you know I kind of have to cover up a little bit or just hide. But in the winter, I can walk around, and it doesn't matter how windy it is. I can just walk straight through it. Doesn't affect me. I can feel it, but it doesn't affect me. You know, like when I was younger, I'd get blown all around the place. Uh, doesn't happen. Not 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 these days. But I am going to lose some weight. I decided. I weighed myself today, and I put weight on since the last time I was weighed. So I was a hundred kilos. Now I'm 101 kilos. And that's not a lot, but... You know, what, what happens? What if What if it... When was the last weight? Probably three weeks ago. Which means... If every three weeks... We'll say every month. Every month I put a kilo on. So, you know, by the end of December, so what, this month is March, so 101, April 102 kilos, May 103 kilos, June 104 kilos, July 105 kilos, August 106 kilos, September 107 kilos October 108 kilos November 109 kilos December 110 kilos See I'm not sure how many kilos in a pound or how many kilos in a well I'm not sure how it all works but uh, it's a bunch of numbers, isn't it? And so, what? Eventually, if I keep going up one one kilo a month, that's quite a lot, isn't it? So that'll be one hundred and ten kilos at the end of this year. At the end of two thousand and twenty. I'll be 111, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 122 kilos by the end of 2020, the end of next year. 2000. 122 so by the end of 2021 so 122 123 124 125 126 127 128 129 130, 131, 132, 133, 134. That's 134 kilos. It's well, I, mean, I don't know how much that is in stone or pounds, but or centimeters, but it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot to, and I don't, you know, I'd rather have the weight go downwards because 
it'll probably be easier to reduce it at this stage than when I'm at 200 kilos. That might, you know, be a little bit more difficult. Mind you, I imagine I'll probably lose lose quite a few kilos every time I did a poo. But the thing is, I quite like to. I've got a gym membership, which I've actually paid for. It's monthly, but I've not been yet. And I went and visited. Um, you know it's really bad if you go to your gym you know you've been haven't been for a long time when you go back and the trainer um, is using a walking stick and it's got grey hair you know they used to be really it's been a long time that's what I'm saying uh, this is a better visual for that I used to know a trainer uh, a trainee trainer and she was called Leah, I think, Leah or Leanne, Leah, she was lovely, she was my friend, and she, I don't know what happened to her, I haven't seen her for ages and ages, but she was training to be a, uh, a train, tra training to be a trainee trainer in the gym, where, you know, helping people to do, st do stuff I don't know what it entails I mean other than the induction where they show you how to use the machines I suppose I did see some people that had trainers with them when I was there last time a couple of years back and they were I think he was doing boxing training with two ladies this man trainer I don't know if he was a trainee trainer or just a trainer but I suppose at some point he would have been a trainee he would have been training to be a train yeah it would have been a trainee journey J journey trainer yeah so that would be I woke up today and I got a bump on the back of my head like near my neck that kind of quite low down and I don't know how it got there I realise it's not um, it's not like an outside thing that just came and landed on my head but all I can think of is that I like banged my head while I was asleep during my, during my you know during my sleep and stuff last night because I noticed it during the night because I went to bed about two o'clock roughly knowing that I had to get up at nine which is going to leave me seven hours and I must have I bashed it at some point it's that how do you bash the back of your head you know, I've never done that before. I, I, you know, normally, if I bash something, I know I've bashed it. You know, when I'm, when I've, <laughs> when I've, um, the amount of times I've banged on something, you know, on the bus, I've bashed something off, bashed off, um, not bashed something off, uh, like getting up off a chair and banging my knee or something like that you know and or I tell you I quite liked today I was getting off the bus and my head if I straightened my back out enough and straightened my neck out my head could touch the ceiling I was on the top floor isn't it weird little things like that can actually mean a lot I just had this feeling of accomplishment come all over me it was just the accomplishment was just dripping off my hair off my beard it was I felt so I felt so I felt tall that's what's weird about it because I'm five foot eight 
I know that I'm sure for a man in the uh, West, um, you know, the average height for a man in this country is about 5'10". Maybe, you know, 5'10", 5'11". It's about the average height for a man. And I am below that. However, I'm a size 10 shoe. So I'm above average when it comes to shoe size. I think the average shoe size is probably nine. I made that up. Didn't need to tell you I made it up. You didn't you might never know. It might not be important enough for you to search and, you know, do a dissertation on it. Imagine life before Google. Oh I can. I can I can imagine life before Google. It was a case of um, who's that person that was in that band in 1987 who was it what's his name what's his name now you know it's oh, just google it it's done let's move on let's move on nothing to see here let's be on our merry way 30 years ago it was like oh it's bugging me now it's bugging me who was that person who was that person oh but yeah it's mind you 30 years ago it would have been 1987 wouldn't it nearly so it would have been who was that person three years ago two years ago that was in the charts it was Bross <gasps> yeah I don't know, it's, uh, I imagine the arguments are a little bit more different now, because you've got arguments with people where, who don't have access to Google, and they will argue and shout and whatever, that they're right, and their memory's right, and, because there's no, there's no way to disprove what they're saying, but as soon as you bring the internet in, you can disprove what they're saying in an instant. Yet, what I've noticed is the person still keeps believing what they believed before, even though they've just had the evidence given to them. And that's something I found very interesting. No readjusting of what they thought, or their thinking, or their beliefs. They carried on believing it even though it had just been shown to them. Not just on Google, but the various resources, the various newspaper articles, uh, you know, even actual film footage of the event taking place on YouTube. It's not enough to convince some people that their reality is not reality. Maybe that's the thing. There's something about getting in touch with the reality of what is instead of wanting things to be different. Because we can make things different, we can make changes and all that stuff, of course. But some things are there, you know. The way other people are, that's them. It's not up to us to change other people. Although me as the magical sleepy guru, I change all my fans for the better. Everyone wakes up feeling like perfect humans. Oh. <laughs> what I want is everyone to wake up feeling like send me some money. Thousands of dollars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's been very windy here. It's been very, very windy. Proper, you know. Not just a little bit, but proper windy. At one point, it did feel like the windows were going to get blown in. 
because there was a real just sustained sound like out there okay it wasn't like that but it was a sound and it was sustained in some way it, was, it lasted for some while now it seems to have calmed down a little bit I say that and then it starts being windy again it's a bit strange because where I live I'm kind of surrounded by houses in like in a circle kind of so you, other than a big tree that's there I wouldn't expect much of the wind to actually be able to get anywhere near my window because it's kind of sheltered but it still does windy 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 Mr. and Mrs. Windy are very devious the wind will find its way into all kinds of cracks and crunnies cracks and cr cracks and Croonies? Roonies? What's that right word? Cracks and crooks? Crocks and crannies? Crannies! Cracks and crannies! Cracks and crannies. That sounds like some kind of Shakespearean weird movie, doesn't it? Uh, what are you doing now? I think I want to come around and watch Cracks and Crannies. I got it from the shop has to be returned tomorrow got it in a plain blessed a plain round bag yes cracks and crannies ooh that sounds wonderful yes mm. shall I bring the cigars oh you can if you like yes mm. the cigars no I mean to smoke oh <laughs> yes mm. so yeah I don't um I got the website up and running again last night. The original website, the proper website, the Shopify um, website. With thousands of pages and doorways for people to enter into my world. And... I kind of missed it. I hadn't had it for probably a week, maybe longer. Maybe two weeks even. But now it's back. It's like, oh, my baby, my baby be back. Give my baby a big hug hug. See, Andre, apart from when I got home, he gave me a big... He ignored me, and then he came out, and we had a big hug, and I cuddled him on the bed, and told her how much I loved him and you know had a big big hug and that's it he's just gone back to sleep I haven't seen him since now he's coming out see you can hear him he can hear me it's, it, here's my name when I say his name he hears his name and it, that alerts him he definitely knows his name Mind you, it's been nearly four years. He hasn't had to learn anything else, has he? I mean, if you can't learn your name in four years, then... There's something quite wrong there, isn't there? There's a good little ferret. He does know some words. He knows what no means. He ignores it, but he knows what it means. Apart from the odd occasion when I'm angry and I say no very sternly and he stops straight away but he really does that and I'm really angry with him I'm really kind of that way but he's got this thing where he wants my attention when I'm lying down usually during the day sometimes early evening 
you know, he'll be a bit in bed in his bag, he'll be asleep, so I go to bed and just go to sleep. And then he wants my attention, he wants to go out or something like that. Maybe he wants his dinner. Maybe he wants untangling from the barbed wire, I don't know, whatever it is. And so we'll climb on the bed and he'll be just pushing me. Maybe nudging my toes, nudging my feet, especially if I've got socks on. If I haven't got socks on, he'll just start biting my toes. And then he'll climb up, climb over my head, and start nudging my face. Start licking my eyes, my eyeball, not my eyeballs, but the, you know. Sometimes he will actually nibble around my eyes because it's a little bit, it's not painful, but it's a little bit, you know, kind of it gets my attention. But if I'm, if I'm asleep, that wakes me up. But if I'm already awake and I'm ignoring him, I, I let him, I don't get up for that. Or if I'm just really tired and I can't be bothered. The next thing he does, if that doesn't work, he goes into the he goes to the front door, starts scratching at the front door. If that doesn't work, he goes into the kitchen, and he starts. He climbs into one of the, the cupboards and starts to empty stuff onto the floor in the kitchen. Now, if that doesn't get my attention, he knows what next to do. And it always gets my attention. He climbs underneath the wardrobe, just where the door is, and he pushes the door open and lets it slam closed, and he keeps doing it. I've seen him do it, I've actually been facing him and with my eyes half closed and looked, and he does it, and he just looks up at me to see whether or not I'm moving yet. And it's quite noisy as well. It's, so that's the thing is it's not good for him because that's when either sometimes I put him in his cage when he's done that especially if I'm trying to sleep so he kind of doesn't do himself any favours but it always works he knows how to play me he really does Another thing he knows, he knows how the word gentle. So if he's biting me, let's say he's biting my hand, and he hasn't had much um, play fighting for a while. Uh, he goes through phases when he loves play fighting and he's running around and he's, I'm chasing him, then he's chasing me, but he hasn't done that for quite a while. And if he gets too carried away with a bite in, I say gentle, and he does instantly. He eases up. He just relaxes his jaw. So that's one of the the other ways he communicates with me, or I communicate with him. Uh, another one is give daddy kisses, and he kisses he kisses my nose when I say that to him. And another thing, when we're out, when he wants me to carry him, he just stops and he puts his both his front feet against my jeans or trousers and just like stands up and just puts his feet against his two front feet, or his, his hands against my calves or, you know, shin or whatever. And that's when I know that he wants me to pick him up. So I do. So he's got his ways of communicating with me. Um, which I think is quite nice. He's got another... It, I would say it's quite a sarcastic mime act that he does. Where he will run over to his empty bowl... look at it look at me look at the bowl again and then run away and then I'll run back to the empty bowl again look at me look at the empty bowl look around as if there's some other food hidden and then run away and then it'll come back so it's basically some kind of mime thing where he's telling me 
get my food now. He's <laughs> he's a funny little thing. He really is. You know, sometimes I almost I'm al almost grateful to have him. Sometimes. Oh, his little sneeze, sneeze. So today, shut up. So today, what day is it? It's Wednesday, and it's five to four. So I do these. Sometimes I make the recordings late at night. Sometimes early in the morning. Sometimes, like early in the morning as in you know daytime sometimes one or two in the morning they really are kind of random just do them when I'm in the mood and when I feel like it when I'm feeling relaxed and calm and know that I'm not really going to be disturbed too much apart from, from Andre he's the only person that disturb, dis, disturbs me he disturbs me. I wonder if I did bash my head on something last night. How weird. Strange thing. What it is, is I know that if I can remember having bashed it, then I won't worry about it. It'll be uninteresting and it'll be gone. It'll still be there, but it's like, oh, that's all it was because sometimes I forget you know I'll, I'll like bang my knee or my arm and I'll be shush and it'll be a bruise on my on my shin or my knee or my arm and I think why is why is it hurting what's that about and I remember that I was in a bare knuckle fight or something in a prize fight and I'm like oh that's right yeah and it just, you know, it just jogs my memory, and then I don't, I don't concern myself with such issues anymore, because then I know what it is, and it doesn't matter. Because knowledge can be powerful, which is why the internet is quite good, although there's a lot of non-knowledge on there as well. There's a lot of, I don't know. I do use Wikipedia and I know that perhaps I shouldn't as much as I do because I do you know it's pretty much anything I want to know quite often I'll just go straight to Wikipedia and see what they've got to say and then like cross reference I wonder why he's sneezing yeah, that's a bit strange imagine no YouTube see I'm I don't someone posted on Facebook about have you ever had your friends or family unfriend you and, and then there's all these people and it's like this 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 extreme uh, emotional outpour it's like I said just I posted, like, listen, it's just a silly website. That's what Facebook is. It's a silly website. It's not important. It's not real. It's just a bunch of pixels on a screen. And someone unfriended you or blocked you means nothing. Unless it means something. And I find that kind of, I can get caught up in it a little bit, but I, I've blocked all of my friends and family off of Facebook. I don't have any of my family, my real life family, on there at all. And as far as I know, I've blocked all of my friends as well. 
so I don't want them on there. I'm only on Facebook to promote my free service that I do. Hypnosis, sleep, whatever it is. It's the only reason I'm on here. I'm not on Facebook uh, to keep up dated with my family. You know, I do still have their telephone numbers if I wanna if I wanna find out how they are. And I generally don't. Occasionally, but you know, so I don't. I don't. What What do you talk to someone about when you know everything that they're doing? You know, I see my brother and sisters maybe twice a year. What am I going to talk to them about if I know everything they've been doing for the last year? Because they've been posting it on Facebook. Oh, how's the job hunting going? You already know how it's going because you saw that I got the job. And you you said, well done, sis. I said, yeah, I know, but... I just think we should try and have like a normal conversation. And pretend that we don't know everything that's going on. You know, like, you know, the old days... He said, you're so set in your ways. The old days. What, you want You want us to send up uh, children up into into space and uh, like monkeys uh, and for experimenting and stuff in, in spaceships? I said, I don't think that ever happened. Maybe monkeys, but I don't think they ever sent humans, children up into space. She said, but you know what I mean. I said, no, I really don't. I think you've... Uh, I'm really, honestly, I'm not sure what it is you're... what you're trying to get at. She said, well, I'm trying to get at, actually, bruv, 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 is the things weren't always better in the old days. I didn't say that things were better in the old days. I just, um, just it's not when it comes to Facebook. The idea of your thoughts, your initial thoughts, initial reactions perhaps need to stay inside your brain and not be typed into a computer or on a phone and distributed for everybody to see unedited it's not always useful perhaps he's probably sneezing what's going on with you Andre why are you sneezing so much if you call it sneezy wheezy, even he's like, what, the f- what? A sneezy wheezy? What the hell's that, Dad? A sneezy wheezy, like a sneezy thing. He said, I'm not a child. I'm nearly four years old. Why don't you get back to sending children up to space for experimentation? And never happened. Never happened. Why are you, why are you siding with your auntie? Because I like her better than you. <laughs> you're very, very childish, Andre. And you're not four. You're not nearly four. It's August. You'll be four. It's only March now. You've still got five months. Oh, aren't we um, um, precise? That took you a little bit too long, didn't it, to come out with that? Yeah, it did. Sounds like some monkey outside. Literally sound as someone was going, 
lah. I'm not doing this live either, so it's not like someone's listening and they're thinking, oh, Jason's doing that. Let's all stand outside and do monkey noises. <laughs> That'll show him. Oh, so today I was so glad to get home. So glad. But I was so tired as well. But I needed to eat and just just do what I needed to do, you know. Eventually I did fall asleep. And I missed the Prime Minister's speech thing that she was going to do. So I thought I'd just lay down for half an hour, but I was, I must have fallen asleep for about an hour. But it's alright. Just keeping track of all the parliamentarian stuff that's going on at the moment. What else did I do lately? I had quite a busy day with the old uh, podcast. I had uh, over 1,300 downloads yesterday. So it's quite nice. I don't know how what's what the progress is on March so far because we're only the 13th today. So we're not even halfway through, are we? But that would be interesting to see what the stats are because January 2019, my podcast stats were 26,258. Uh, February, that's the downloads and plays together. February 2019, 31,534. And that was the downloads and plays together. So that's what five fell <sighs> over five thousand additional downloads and plays from January to February. So I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of a similar situation. It'll definitely be more than February, but I'm supposed probably 36,000 in March and then April it might grow more than 5,000 a month but just aim just based it on the minimum 30 so 36 in March 36 37 38 39 40 41 so 41,000 in April 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 46,000 in May, June, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So June, by June I'll have 50, over 50,000 downloads and plays a month. So that's pretty good. Fifty thousand a month, which means is that right? I don't know. Yeah, because by the end of January, February. Thirty thirty so five so fifty Yeah, I'll be about eighty by the end of December two thousand and nineteen I'll probably have about eighty plus thousand downloads and plays a month. 
probably more realistically about a hundred maybe even more so I need to convert that month into weekly during the next year so during 2020 that hundred thousand a month needs to turn did you hear that people love love their horns don't they on their cars very lazy a lot of people are very lazy don't like getting out of their cars to pick people up anymore I remember I remember when I was a kid taxi drivers used to get out of their car and knock on your door to let you know that they're there then they started bibbing their horns and now you get a text through on your phone to tell you that the, that the cab is there with the registration number that really was a boring story so if I can turn 100,000 a month into 100,000 a week by the end of 2020 so that'll be well, we've got 5 million during that year and then 2021 I can turn that 100,000 a week into 100,000 a day and that's when I could potentially earn a living out of this. But that is quite a lot of people that will be listening to me. I mean, five, five million is quite nice, isn't it? Over a year. But 100,000 a day would be, what, three million a month. So it's 36 million. Wait a minute. Three, 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 thirty, hundred thousand a day. So it's three million a month. Three million a month, thirty six million downloads and plays a year. It's not that much, really. And you spread it over the year. And so there's potential, you know. I'd like to get there a little bit quicker, but everything takes time. So yeah, it's that's kind of my plan. 100,000 by the end of the year, a month. And then next year, 100,000 a week by the end of the year. And then the following year, 100,000 a day. And then should we go 100,000 an hour? <laughs> no. Now that'd be quiet. Yeah, I'd be able to pay my rent, buy my food, all kinds of stuff like that. That'd be groovy. But more importantly, I'd be able to reach an audience and help people that's the most important thing hopefully send lots of people to sleep and don't forget it's not just the new stuff they're listening to it's the, all the old stuff I've got over 900 recordings for people to listen to in my back pat, not my back passage my back catalogue so there's a lot of stuff to listen to Anyway, I'm going to go now. Yes, I am. I need a little sleep. Yeah, I do. Andre's run off as well. So you take care and I'll speak to you next time. Bye.